Good morning guys and welcome to Homegrown Herbs. So today we are doing something slightly different as the name suggests up above in the title. We are going to look at um, sort of when you should be breeding your Samboas, so what sort of age, um, weight, all that sort of stuff. Um, we do some of that I get asked quite a lot, um, so I thought it was something that I'd bring to the table and see what you guys think. Um, if these are just experiences that I've had um, and the sort of weights and sizes that I do breed from. Um, if you find that you do the things are slightly different, then don't get comments down below. I'm always happy to take on little bits of information, so that's absolutely fine. Um, don't forget, guys, if you want to see more, if you want to subscribe, hit yourself on that notification down below. Um, and don't forget to like the video. Always drop a comment down below. I'd love to speak to you guys. Um, interaction for me is absolutely paramount. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, let's get to it. Okay, guys, so I will start by showing you what a fully grown adult um, that's actually breeding has bred for us for a few years running now. Um, not consecutively, but has done in the fiesta for us so this girl is a beast to be honest um this is our albino she's a hundred percent het anery she has some previews some absolutely beautiful albino het anemies and as you can see she is nice and thick she's well on her way so this girl has produced some absolutely stunning snows this is part of the butterscotch one so I'll show you her weight now, if I can get her to, this girl does like to have a good ram around, so I'm hoping she'll stay still. So this girl is 764 gram, give or take. Um, she is empty, she's due to be fed, so i um, currently got a male in with her, so she won't be fed until uh, next week, um, about Tuesday or Wednesday, something like that, I think they're due. So I only feed my adult females um, when they're this sort of weight, only every two weeks, not every week. I just don't think they need it so right that's an ad as I say that little girl is feeding and pairing at the moment um she's currently I think around nine years old um that is a rough estimate because when we had her she came from an idea didn't really know the age um said she was about five um and we've had her now four years so she'd be about nine now Okay, so again, this is one of our um, to put it, seasoned veterans, and this is our female Dodoma Cross Girl. This is the girl that threw the absolutely stunning visual looking Dodomas. Um, obviously, we can't class them as visual because they're not Dodoma to Dodoma, but to me, they do look absolutely outstanding. So, again, girl's very much on her way, very good, thick set on her now, absolutely beautiful girl. Both of my adult girls never miss a feed, even up until this girl actually fed two days before giving her litter last year. So this girl is 834 grams, uh, give or take. So 834, yeah. So this girl again is empty, she's got no food in her. This girl is a little older, um, as far as we know. The lady who gave it to us um, again, at the time told us she was around six. Um, so she'd be about 10 now um, so again well established well feeding and has produced quite a few for us in the past right, so this girl here is um, also from the Dodoma cross girl she's actually our first holdback um, from way back so she's around three and a half years old now and um, got mega sore ball over her but Let's have a quick look at her weight. So as you can see, she's sitting at 335 grams. Now I am starting to pair her in the last three or four days. Um, she's, as I say, on her very first um, breeding. And we shall see how many we get off her and if she goes. Um, she's actually paired to a sibling but not as direct sibling so a year after um we kept back a male the year after and i'll show him shortly and he's currently pairing to her just to see what we get because of the dodoma stuff so we want to see what we get from him okay next up so this one here is our anary girl now this anary is 100 percent het albino as well 
absolutely stunning. Now this little one came from Barry, Barry Summerhays, um, three years ago. So I'm just going to check her weight. We haven't paired her yet, just because I think she's a little too small. 235, so she's on her way. Um, I possibly could um, pair her because she's feeding very well. Um, but I think I will see how she goes. I may try a, a latter end of the season, see how she gets on, because we are sort of bearing towards the end now. So 235 is a little bit small for me, but we'll see how she goes. Um, I would normally only pair at around 300 gram at the lowest, to be honest. So we'll see how she goes. Um, I might just stick the Annery boy in with that just to see how she gets on. But if she started to go off food, then I would stop it completely. Um, she is three years old, so she is mature. She has got a good thick body weight to her. She's got no leanness to her at all. So I would consider putting a male to her just to see what happened. Um, as I say, if she did go off food, then I would consider taking her off. But to be honest, she will probably see next season now, not this season. Absolutely beautiful girl. Okay, guys. So I just want to show you the difference of a year can make. So... This little one here um, is one of our butterscotch line um, snows. This is the one that came from the Het Anna girl. As I say, I think Dad had that trail. I don't think it was Mum, but this one is just over. Oops, did he? Just over two years old. And as you can see, 127 grams. A little too small to even think about putting any of mail to it. Um, but as you can see with the difference, this one's not so solid there is a little bit of concussion on top so i wouldn't consider pairing this firma at all um it's not far off three years old it's about two years and about five months but for me it's just a little bit small for me it's just too small to be even considering but absolutely beautiful colors really rich vibrant caramelly colors as you can see, which is why we're calling it the butterscotch. It's absolutely outstanding. Do you like how the blushes lighten up on the sides as well? Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I do apologise, Chase is quite vocal today. Hey guys, so on to the males. Now, sadly, this little one's in shed. I say sadly, they do look absolutely beautiful in shed. Um, this anery stripe. It's also 100% het albino as well. Um, absolutely stonky looking animal. When it's not in shed, it's even prettier. But absolutely beautiful boy. Now this one is just over a year old. I want to show you what we class as breeder weight and not breeder weight. So this boy is 65 grams. If I wanted to, I could possibly start pairing him. It's usually around 70 grams I would start pairing. Um, to say 65 ish is okay to start season as long as he actually stayed on food 70 grams a usual rule of thumb um they can get to that within a year um usually takes a year year and a half to eat that weight i don't massive feed mine i only slowly feed mine once a week as and when they take and that is it um but if they do get to weight within that year then it's a bonus absolutely stunning boy Right, next up. Okay, so next up is this little beauty. This is the one that I featured in the video the other day. This is the um, snow stripe. Now, again, there's a bit of controversy on whether you can class them for a, a stripe because there is no roofson in these. Um, so it's a stripe non roofson. Um, the dad, whoops, did he? Grabbing all the. Uh, Pod. So the dad had no roofs and he was just a snow, uh, which you've probably seen in one of the original videos of the boy. Um, sadly, he did see his death through one of the females, sadly. Um, happens now and again, but there was no roofs in him, and mom has no roofs in at all that I'm aware of. Um, but some of the babies are stupidly striped, so. This is about as striped as you're going to get without any roofs and influence. Absolutely beautiful boy. 
So, as you can see, rich, deep coral colours again, like caramel. Let's see if that's settled. So this boy is two years old and 86 gram. Now, as I say with these, they are slower growers. And as I say, with a the male, they can get up to weight at a year old. But usually, I don't usually breed until they're around two years old. As you can see, this boy's just hit that sort of weight, seven, over the 70 gram, and he's two year old. So they are a lot slower in growing, um, and the boys are still tiny. So I don't like to risk them when they're too small, to be honest, because um, the boys are such fragile little things. Absolutely beautiful. So this is the boy that was in question earlier. This is the boy that we kept back from the Dodoma um, litter the year after. So this boy is currently seeing his sort of stepsister, I suppose you could say is. Um, obviously, we just want to try and prove out mom's line, um, having something in her. So we will see what comes from her. And he's also gone back to mom as well. So we'll see what comes from both of them. Again, very beautiful looking boy. Absolutely gorgeous. Some nice high whites on this boy as well. Very high whites. So, as you can see, this little boy, oops, a daisy. This boy's three years old, 106 gram. Again, not massive. Um, three years old. He is a good feeder, to be fair, but he's just a slow grower. Even though he's a good feeder, he's just a slow grower. So, as you can see, the differences in sort of sizes. So, even though he's three years old, he's still only at 100 gram. Whereas, three years old, when you're looking at like ball pies and stuff like that, you'd expect them to be a lot larger. Um, they are very slow growers, so you have to sort of accept that they're that sort of size. Now, I can show you a little bit of difference as well in species with sand blowers. So, I'm going to be very careful this girl because she's very nippy at the moment due to being paired. Now, exception to the rules, um, this is a rough scale. Now, this girl is sitting at 281 gram, and she's actually been paired um, simply because rough scales tend to be a little bit smaller in the actual sizes of them. This girl is nearly four years old now, so she's actually a lot smaller species than what you'll find with the Kenyans and that. So I do do these ones at around 250 grams. And I find they're absolutely fine like that. And I will now show you the size of the male as well. Please don't bite. Again, this one seems to be a little bit nippy. So these were brought together um, at the same time. They are not related, so they're unrelated, but they were born around the same time. Now this boy, again, is over three years old, but he's extremely square, mate, for a start. So I need to sit still, mate. And he's only sitting at 92 grams. So you can see the difference between the Kenyans to the rough scales, they tend to be a lot smaller. Um, and with these guys, I do find that they can go off food, especially the males in the season. So it's probably the reason why they don't grow so big. But I do absolutely love these guys. I wish I could uh, sort of get these going more in production because they're just stunning. If I was to have anything, I'd keep everything back rough scale wise because there is just so much I think can be done with these guys. Patternings of the blushings around the alien heady type pattern saddle patterns are absolutely beautiful. I do really love these species. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that segment of the video. It was nice to have something a little different and it's always nice to inform you guys and give you guys a little bit of uh, information and help you guys, you guys forward in your projects. So as a rule of thumb, we'll sort of reiterate, females round about three years old and at least 300 gram. Males 
can typically get away with the very first year. Um, I have known small instances of people being able to get their males to 70 grams before the year, but then not actually manage to pair them because they just haven't been sexually mature. So I always tend to say, as a rule of thumb, one year, 70 gram. As I say, my males tend to be close to two years, just that they're quite slow growers. So it all differs on your animals. You have to know your animals and also know how they're feeding, how they're responding to their pairings and all that sort of stuff. So if they're feeding regularly and they're just off the weight, um, and I mean just off, so say for instance, like, uh, was it the anna is 65 gram, it's five gram off if I wanted to, I could start pairing him as long as he carried on feeding continuously every week. Um, if I did find that he went off feed and he started to look a little bit shabby, then I would consider taking him off the food, um, taking him off the breeding and then banging food back in him and leaving him till the season after. So it's all about knowing your animals. Um, research key, as I say, um, it's not definite. Research will never give you everything. You'll always get hints and tips off of the people. Experience is always my main sort of goal in, in life. You'll never get everything through research. It's all about reaching out to people. Uh, if you need advice, guidance in any way with anything, I'm always available. There's an amazing guy in the UK called Matt Horton that does a large amount of the sambos here in the UK. Um, also, Barry Summerhays does a fair few of the sambos as well. Um, there is a few people up and coming um, following my footsteps with me. Um, Tom Goody's um, going into it now. Um, he's been the last couple of years I think he's had his first litter this year um so there's starting to get more people around there's tony as well tony grimley he's just starting off as well so they're going to be up and coming as well and um, sean mcbay as well whether i get that right sns serpents and um, also getting into some bows um so that'll be amazing as well you're also getting into like rosy bows and stuff like that so he has an absolutely awesome collection you also have the youtube video if you want to jump over and take a look at it it's well worth a watch um when you're looking for people like major experience i was always go to the us because obviously a large amount of it is over in the us warren treacher and warren treacher's book and um, the samboa book amazing reads you'll find loads of information really research in there um reach out to him as well as an amazing guy it's great to talk to um full of knowledge jeff holloway jeff holloway has some amazing knowledge he's an absolute stunning animals as well does a thing called HRP, which is Holloway Reduced Pattern, and it's out of this world. Absolutely stunning gene. To get it over here would be amazing. Um, Pamela, Pamela Radcliffe, 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 I may be saying that wrong, Pamela, I'm sorry if I am. Um, also over there, there is Scott Miller, um, who has some absolutely stunning animals, he really does. Um, works, I think, with the Russians as well, same as mm, Brad, Brad? Nelson, Brad Nelson, maybe wrong. Um, but there is, over in the US, there are absolutely tons of people you can get in touch with. As I say, just drop onto one of those guys and you'll find in the friends list there's quite a variety of other people as well doing it. Um, Shannon Vote as well. Um, very interesting um, splash she produced, I think it was last season. Um, absolutely beautiful looking thing. Um, Splash is a gene that I suppose if you could think of all pythons, it's what they would call a pied. Um, absolutely stunning looking thing. Um, I think there's more to it than just the Splash, but it's absolutely stunning. So worth having a look on her as well. Um, as always guys, in these crazy times, I hope you're all staying well, um, keeping safe, um, staying close to your family, looking after your family, and treating yourself well as well. Um, it's all about sort of taking care of yourselves in these moments. Don't forget to reach out if you need to talk to people. Um, I'm always here if you want to speak to me. Um, I'm a bit of a boring git, but you can always have a shout. Um, don't forget that you're never um, sort of too afraid to talk to someone. So as always guys, take care, keep smiling, and let's teach, not preach. Ciao.